lecture we're going to master SQL that's CQL this not SQL but it's my book is called SQL anyway um, let's start off so I've got three pages here right a few Pokemon so this Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirrel, Charmander 1, 2, 3, 4 one page for DBZ characters so Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Chi Chi and one page has combinations so Pikachu and Goku, Raichu and Vegeta, Krillin and Mew uh, this is just uh, some sample data for us to actually do our searching which I've created manually so let's get started right so open up quick search so let's say you just wanted to search Goku right um, so you see it in two places you're seeing it in DBZ characters and DBZ and Pokemon but if we do um, or say Mew, so Mew is going to show up uh, in the combination, right? So it's showing up in the uh, DBZ and Pokemon. But if I was to do or Pikachu, <clears throat> yeah, so you have to use or in caps. So it's showing up, so Goku or Pikachu shows in Pokemon, DBZ and Pokemon as well as DBZ because this is, belongs to DBZ and this belongs to Pokemon. But if I were just to do Goku, it's only going to show up in DBZ ones, right? So DBZ or Pikachu introduces Pokemon only. Right, that's how you use or. You might want to use and. So and means both should be there. Um, which is only there in one not means Goku should be there but Pikachu should not be there so that's only DBZ because Goku belongs to DBZ right and uh, you can do like Goku or Pikachu not uh, whatever Rai so you can make set you can combine these operators here as well you can even put brackets make it simpler to understand like that right so you have this option so it might turn out that <clears throat> you don't really know what you're searching for right so it's when you know what you're searching for you can use and or not to like help filter out things but um, and you can like make your own sets of queries for that, for the and or not. But um, for the, for a lot of times, you don't really know what you're searching for. Someone could be like, oh, it sounds like Goku, but you don't really know what the word is. And in those times, you need like wildcard searches, right? You need like something to help you actually figure out the word. And Confluence will help you there as well. Um, so it's a really handy tool that way. So let's check it out. So let's say you knew it's something like Goku, right? But you don't know what the last letter was. You can put a question mark and it will figure out the last letter for you. See? So I put question mark. So if I just put GOK, don't really know what you're searching for. But if I put a question mark, it figures out that, oh, there's a last letter. I don't know what the last letter is. But no matter what it is, let's find similar things. So it's figured out that <clears throat> Goku's sitting here in these two places. So let's say you didn't even, let's say we're talking about a little longer word. So say Pikachu, right? You know it sounds like Pikachu, Pika, but you don't know what the last letters are. You can put a star. So if I put nothing, it doesn't really know what you're talking about. But if I put a star, it's going to complete the string or the nearest matching string and help you figure it out. So it's finding where Pika is. Because if I go here, you'll see Pikachu here, right? Um... So maybe you know what the word sounds like in pieces. We have like a word like Bulbasaur, right? You know it starts with Bul, and then you know it ends with Saur, or Saw. And you put you can put multiple stars. So you don't you don't know what the letters in the middle are, and you don't know what the letters in the end are. Just put stars, and it'll figure the rest out for you. Like it'll find the nearest matching string. Pretty handy. 
you can even combine them so let's even use question mark and star at the same time you can even do that pretty cool right right um, so now let's say you knew it's Bulbasaur Bulbasaur right um, but you miss you, you like saw it's Bulbasaur and maybe you spelled Bulbasaur wrong and you thought it's Bulbasaur what you can do is just put a squiggly at the end it's gonna find the nearest matching string so it figured out that Bulbasaur is wrong and Bulbasaur is what you need so it's directing you there right so squiggly is pretty handy um, you can even combine the squiggly with other stuff so let's say Bulbasaur sort right or right. you, you can just combine even the like just like uh, the way it's the same sorry I pressed enter by mistake but the same way you combine um, other operators you can combine the squiggly symbol this just gives you an overview of SQL um, and feel free to mix and match these operators as and when you need them